And the only way we can have a right interpretation of the things that relate to to God and our and the substance of who we really are, we have to be regenerated in our spirit. That, look at it. The spirit of the man, the spirit of man, that factor in human personality which proceeds immediately from God is the lamp of the Lord, searching all his inward parts. That's why the spirit of God is searching all the inward parts. I mean, there's a search party in you. <laughs> there is. Yeah, I know. It ain't a hunger pain. It's a search party. The Holy Spirit wants to bear witness with your spirit. Deep is calling to the deep. Why? Because there is a deposit of his nature that went on the inside of you. I'm going to clarify it further, but I need to pronounce it first. Oh, if you know anything, I always pronounce it, then I declare, right? Y'all know that, right? Y'all follow me that? Okay. There's something deep within us, and that thing, that substance that's in us is, is, is the spirit that's in us. It's, it's in the core of our being. It is his divine essence. It is his nature. It is his life that proceeds from within us. It is his genetic code. That genetic code is the divine nature activity, the DNA of our Father. We only need to be taught the truth, explain the truth, then we need to believe the truth, receive the truth, and believe the truth. So that the way, the truth, and the life becomes our experience. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> In the core of our being, we have a genetic code. It is the divine, the DNA or the divine nature activity of our Father. We only need to be taught the truth, explain the truth, believe the truth, and receive the truth, or receive the truth and believe the truth so that the, the way, the truth, and the life can become our experience. The way, the truth, and the life. <coughs> That's what he wants. That's a threefold chord that can't easily be broken. That's the law of reciprocity. And I told you, truth is not doctrine. Truth is not teaching, per se. It's a person. Mm -hmm. the truth is a person. Mm -hmm. It's a person. His name. But we have the spirit of truth, which means it's the spirit of God. Yes. And we said truth is reality. If you looked it up, El Aletheia, it means reality. Yes. God wants to bring us into a reality. Amen. We can get to the point where we submit it to the spirit of God that illusions don't exist. Wow. Wow. Falsehood, deceptions, all those things can be swallowed up in him. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what he wants us to get to. Yeah. So that we don't have to be hypocritical. Amen. Live beneath our judgment, because that's what it means. Remember we talked about being a hypocrite. <laughs> Living beneath our judgment. So we want to be able to live out the judgments. Amen. Our judgments is the convictions that we carry. Yeah. That's what our judgments are. Yeah. What are your convictions? If we can't, if, well, how is it we can't judge our own life if we can't bring our life into a judgment or we can't bring our life into alignment mm -hmm. with God and eventually there's going to be a, 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 a body of believers in the earth that's going to judge the angels. Sure. The same one that's going to rule the earth. Mm -hmm. sure. I know you're trying to get to heaven, but heaven came here. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. In fact, if we don't get there first, it's coming to us. <laughs> You gotta understand the law first principle. Heaven was here before it. <laughs> you can look at the scriptures in Genesis, it tells us where heaven was. Heaven was here. Adam raised hell and heaven left. It's not a cuss word. Come on. <laughs> I'm also trying to sneak one in. <laughs> I'm not a cusser. I never have been. Uh, Tim, uh, Apostle Tim said, We have the DNA, divine nature attributes of a heavenly father. Yes, his DNA. Mm -hmm. it, it, then he said, yes, his DNA, divine nature attitude. <laughs> I like playing words. Yeah. And if you think that is difficult to believe, then rejoice for his DNA <coughs> says divine nature activated. Mm -hmm. Attributes, attitude activated on the inside of us. So we should be activated in his DNA. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. There's something that's flowing in our veins. It could be dormant but we have the propensity and the opportunity to process it and bring it into our life. Yes, sir. Amen. To live out from that resource. Yes, sir. It's embedded in our personality. Yes. We just got to get beyond that veil. Mm -hmm. 
Amen? Amen. We have something that's on the inside of us. Go to 1 Peter 1, 23. Somewhat that's inside of us. I hate to say something. We, you know, one thing, we could be a host of heaven or a hostage to hell. It's all up to you. Hold on, they stuck another one in there. <laughs> <laughs> but you can. This is your choice. It's up to you to decide. You got to make the distinction. You know, that's what it says. Choose who you're going to serve. First Peter uh, 1 Peter 1.23 says, You have been... Oh, that's the Amplified. I might come back to that. Yeah, I will. Go to uh, King James. Hurry up before they see it. <laughs> you know what? Go to 22. Seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, and see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. Yeah, boy, we can teach on that. Because so many folks trying to purify their souls without love. Yeah. Okay. Because faith works by them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh, that's just to get all my nerves. I'm just so tired of being around. <laughs> Every time house come next to me, I get just the itty jimmies. <laughs> <laughs> you better learn how to love because that's how your faith gonna work. Let's go to 20, 23. I'll leave that alone. I don't want y'all to get upset. <laughs> being born again, not of what? Corruptible seed. Flesh and blood is the corruptible seed. That's the living soul. We're not born of that thing anymore. That's why we're born again. Born of the water and of the spirit, right? I mean, oh, that's what Jesus said in John. Amen. Am I right? He said you can't enter the kingdom. He said you got to be born again to see it. But he said you can't enter without water and spirit. Some of us see it, we hear it, but we don't possess it. You can't just receive it. we got to possess the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We possess the kingdom by the incorruptible, by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. Now the word of God, the, let me just get it to you. And the Amplified, before I get you all the word of God, because most of us, and I, 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 from time to time I get a little bit, you know, a little bit on me, a little dentist on me, and I try to, uh, yeah, 23. You have been regenerated. Born again, not from a mortal origin. Ah, that's good. See the sperm, but from one that is immortal by the ever living and lasting word of God. That's what we talked about last week. Dominant genes and the recessive genes. The recessive gene is coming to the forefront. Things are being removed from our life. Because now we're receiving. A word that's what? Living and abiding. Listen to the voice translation. It says, you have been reborn not from seed that eventually dies, but from seed that is eternal. The, the, through the word of God that lives and endures forever. Well, I'm going to preach this in a minute. I feel it on me. <laughs> for, for Pastor said, for through the eternal and living word of God, you have been born again. Mm -hmm. Not through the scriptures, through the eternal living word of God, you have been born again. And this seed that he planted within you can never be destroyed. Mm -hmm. But we will live and grow. Oh, but, oh, not we. Never be destroyed. But we'll live and grow inside of you forever. Mm -hmm. I want the seed. The, uh, the incorruptible seed, the eternal living seed, which is the word of God in me to incubate and grow to the point that I will abide forever. Which means I will not be inconsistent. I will not be up and down. I will not hit and miss. I will not be bound by my emotion. There's a level of stability. Anybody want to abide? That's what Jesus said, right? He said, if you continue in my word, right? The same word abide. That's what it means. It means to, it really means stay loyal. Prophet told us that. It means to stay loyal. As I'm loyal to his word, I'm going to abide. Why? Because there is a kingdom that's here that cannot be shaken. That's what he said in Hebrews 12, right? Y'all know it talks about the kingdom that's going to be shaken and then the kingdom that's going to remain? Yes. He said, the kingdom that can be shaken will be shaken, so that which cannot be shaken will remain. Why? Because it has a, a seed, it's an 
impartation of divinity that's on the inside of us. No, we're not God, but we are partakers of his divine nature. And now it's on the inside of us. Yes, sir. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. This is powerful, man. Spiritually transform, amplify, say, renew, set apart for his purpose. That's what he wants us to get. Yeah. We're, it's not perishable. Mm -hmm. We don't have an expiration date. Although some Christians, I'm going to tell you, some Christians, some Christians do have one. And I'm in agreement. I remember Apostle Burgess told me a long time ago, he said, Brother Steve, most Christians don't last but two decades. And I, I found that to be true. 20 years in, something happens. I don't know what it is. Yeah, they can only give 20 years of their life. After 20 years, you know if you're good, say <laughs> if you get past that 20 mark yeah. and I've known people who was on fire in this church and all of a sudden they feel yeah. it <laughs> and I have people come up to me telling me man you need to talk to him mm -hmm. yeah. you know they, uh, they walk up to me stop me in the store said hey you know just you need to talk to that or this person mm -hmm. because it was a perishable seed that they was carrying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have an incorruptible seed. Ultimately, we know that the seed that we're carrying is not just the Bible. It's not just the Greek and Hebrew. It's not just our varied versions. I like voice. I like Passion Bible. I like the Message Bible. They all give you a kind of a kaleidoscope view of a single scripture. Am I right? They give you an overview of, of, a, of a verse. And it helps. It, you know, it enhances you. You know, you, then you it, it sometimes takes you on a journey inwardly. But while we search the scriptures, we got to make sure that we don't get stuck at the signposts. Mm -hmm. 